Hello guys and welcome back to the Simply Code programming channel. This is Vikesh and let's get started with today's topic which is about java.lang package. So java.lang package is one of the most core and fundamental packages in Java which is provided out of the box to the developer. You never explicitly import this package in your Java program because you don't need to. Java provides this automatically the moment you create a file with .java extension or, and you have uh, you are running that particular program inside or on a JDK, you get the java.lang package automatically. For example, when we, were, when we were running the string handling demo, I was using the string class, but I never imported the string class. You can see there's no import for string because string class is also part of the java.lang package it's automatically imported for you. You never need to explicitly import the package or any classes of that package. So this is going to be more of a theoretical lecture where we will just have a look at or a quick overview of all the java.lang package classes and other utilities. You don't need to remember all the classes and utilities, but this is just to give you a sense of what all it contains. So in terms of the interfaces, it has the appendable interface, auto-closable, auto care sequence, clonable, comparable. If you remember, we also used comparable when we were writing the uh, comparable uh, implementation to compare different objects in a collection. So this also comes automatically as part of the java.lang package. Iterable, runnable, again, we use this in the, in the threading example. So this also comes automatically to you. You never need to import the runnable class from the java.lang package. When we move to the classes, all the data type classes which you can think of in terms of Boolean, byte, character, class, class loader, compiler, enums even, float, integer, long, math. So all the classes which we were using, the, the data type classes which we were using in different examples are also part of the java.lang package. Okay, so this is a long list. Long list. It also has a thread class. So whenever you are creating thread, you again never imported thread class, but it still just worked fine because there was uh, this was also coming as part of the java.lang package there are also a bunch of enumerations which it provides in terms of unicode uh, thread state etc it also provides exception classes like arithmetic exception or or the, the different runtime exceptions which we dealt with like array index out of bound array store class cast class not supported the root exception class so a lot of exception classes also come as part of the java.lang package it also provides some error classes. If you remember when we talked about the exception framework, you have the error types and you have the exception types. So it also provides some error classes. If you want to use that, you don't, you never need to import any of these classes and you will automatically get them from the java.lang package. Similarly, uh, it also provides some annotations as well, like functional interfaces or you, re you remember we use this annotation a lot, the add the rate override annotation, but we never imported the override class or the override annotation because it's part of the java.lang package. So this basically tells us that there are a lot of different classes, utilities, enums, errors, exceptions, data types, which are provided out of the box from the java.lang package, which makes our life so much easier whenever we want to work with Java because we don't need to import the very basic classes which uh, which we use very frequently. And another very important package is the java.util package. We have been using the java.util package in all of the collections examples and tutorials we walked through in this whole tutorial series. So let me just open the java.util package for you. So if I go here to java.util and I will be able to see the java.util packages, different classes, etc. Yes. So here is here it is the java.util package. And remember, java.util package is not imported automatically. You have to explicitly import the java.util package to use the classes of it. So it so that's the difference between java.lang package and java.util package that you cannot uh, you can use uh, the classes coming from the java.lang package without explicitly importing those classes or importing the java.lang package. But java.util package is something which you have to explicitly import in your Java program to make it work or even make it compile. So what java.util provides? First of all, the collections framework. The whole collections framework comes from the java.util package. So for example, all the interfaces which we use while we work with the collections framework classes, interfaces like collection, 
list set map you can see the map interface you can see the list interface with the generics so all the interfaces which we use from uh, in the collections framework are present in the java.util package similarly when we talk about the classes all the concrete classes implementation of the collections framework in terms of array list link list hash map hash set tree set tree map you will see all of those classes here here we are covering all the uh, this is showing all the classes summary so you see some abstract classes and you will also see some concrete classes as you move further down in this particular list so you see hash map you see hash set hash table linked hash map linked hash set linked list we used all of these classes while we were going through the collections framework tutorials so it provides all of these and a lot of other classes like the scanner class which we covered in the java project for taking the inputs from the command line from the user uh, stack class again from the collection uh, some time classes and it also provides bunch of enumerations like the locale basically setting the language categories uh, for a particular program it also provides some exceptions which we used while we were working with the collections framework so most of these exceptions are uh, or some of these exceptions are related to the collection classes for example the concurrent modification exception gets thrown uh, whenever you the, your, the whole execution detects concurrent modification of an object when such modification is not allowed you will see other different types of exceptions like illegal format etc in this particular uh, exception uh, section of this particular package then it also provides just one error class as well so this is what the java.util uh, package contains and just to refresh your memory whenever we ran any collection demo we always imported the java.util classes you can see this is all coming from java.util so this is something which you have to import without which your program will not even compile so that's also one of the difference between the java.lang package and the java.util package and that's pretty much all i want to cover in this particular session so we basically did a quick tour of the java.lang package and the java.util package and like i said it's impossible to cover all of that or all of the classes and enums and interfaces and errors and exceptions uh, with all the examples so i would suggest you to just keep this in mind about the java.lang package and java.util package i told you the basic concept that java.lang contains all the types the class and the variable types or the data types we dealt with and java.util majorly contains all the collection classes uh, that's that's the that's the basic uh, thing which you need to remember whenever you work with java and your java.lang package never needs to be imported but java.util package needs to be imported always whenever you use the util classes and that would be all for today's session in the next session we are going to have a look at networking classes in java if you like this video a thumbs up would be massively appreciated and please don't forget to subscribe to simply code for more programming related videos. Thank you and we'll meet again in the next session.